don't scare me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me talk to you. There's someone behind us is saying all kinds of evil. It's tough work being a car at a time like this. Oh, okay. We talked to him yesterday. Ghost Hunters has, much like most paranormal researchers, the biggest of the people out there that are willing to fake stuff. Yeah. Like the paranormal way to well, this ancient science that ghosts don't exist myself, I think they have as much as I can't explain. Yeah, I believe ghosts exist. I really do believe ghosts exist. I've had too many experiences that make me believe otherwise. Both direct experiences and experiences that friends or family members have had. So I, I do believe in ghosts. But I also believe that ghosts are things to be left alone and not bothered. Like, I'm, I'm convinced that when Zero Wolf and I got the house that we live in right now, it was haunted. Like, no joke. The amount of accidents and stuff that happened when we first bought this house was redonkulous. So I went out and uh, got some natively sourced sage and uh, did a smudging in the house and basically said, Hey, ghost, I know the previous owners kind of sucked. But give us a chance. I promise that we will take good care of this house that you built. And ever since then, we haven't had a problem. In fact, we've had a lot of very fortuitous things happen with this house where the stars kind of aligned, which makes me think that we pleased the ghost. Uh, I unfortunately can't bloom the trees right now. Pixie makes things with the miasma. They won't stay bloomed. The miasma prevents them from staying bloomed. I also apparently can't summon the sun. I believe there's stuff that we haven't explained, discovered yet, but I'm skeptical of ghosts. Well, that, that's fair. That's fair. Can we use of your patience one now, a second of your attention, one mistake in yours? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much chaotic night. No, thank you. Ghosts of the deceased spirits of the innocent. I don't know so much if this are deceased spirits of the innocent. I think they're just deceased. But I also think that there's more to ghosts than just something that has been deceased. Because I also believe in, like, nature spirits and stuff. I mean, I'm not quite Marie Kondo level where I think everything has a soul. But I definitely believe that there are spirits out there. Definitely believe there are spirits. That is Shinto. Yeah, it is very Shinto. It's also very shamanistic. Big surprise knowing me. I'm a druid. Mr. Flower. Oh, this oppressive weight. I cannot bear it. Ah, huh. what's wrong, Gramps? What's wrong? You sick or something? Can I bloom his head? Huh? Oh, no, I'm, I'm not sick. You're not? What about all that weight you can't bear? It is my soul that ails me. A tremendous weight presses upon it. Oh, he's important. He gets a cutscene. Blossom protector, Mr. Flower. Oh, what has become of our city? This accursed mist has covered the entire area of late. It slowly but surely tortures us as if we were being strangled. At first, we thought that a thick fog had rolled in. But then people started falling ill. Worst of all, the cherry blossoms I worked so hard to take care of have withered and lost all their blossoms. Yeah, thank you for that follow, Monty. A whole bunch of sixes, and welcome to the ranks of the Musies. You will see that we are a very serious station here. There is no shenanigans. But we do have a lot of cookies. An alarming amount of cookies. Cannot bloom his head. I can try, though. Now, that's interesting. I wonder. <laughs> well, you can mess up the umbrella. That's fun. There's right up here in the West struggle so much with Marie Kondo. Yeah, I know. I know. 
scientific standpoint, I believe in ghosts and religious standpoint, I do not. And, and that I agree with, Nordic. That I agree with. Oh, I got house goblins that are my buddies, tricksters, sweat buddies. Hey, nothing wrong with the trickster spirit in the house. It keeps things interesting as long as no one gets hurt. Ouija boards, whenever you use one, uh, move the thing you could buy before leaving it if you didn't believe in it. And that's just good. Yeah, I will not use Ouija boards, Bunny Fist. Like, call me, call me paranoid or whatever you want. I don't screw with Ouija boards. I had an experience with a Ouija board when I was a kid. And nope, never again. Did I? Was that the, the, the face that I drew when we were in that one uh, area? I think that was the face I drew for my, like, headscarf in that one area that we had to trick the guards. I believe anything alive has a spirit. We can do this after death, exactly. I don't know, spirit, souls, things in heaven and earth. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Melina. Welcome on in, Kagan. Welcome in. Welcome in. Behold my art. <laughs> Behold my art. I love that they kept that art. And yes, I did draw an uwu. I did draw an uwu. I will not deny this. Ah, I bet you this is the carpenter's house. Or it's a carpenter's house. <laughs> I love that they encourage you to break everything. True RPG here, where you have to break everything. You gotta make it straight, Crafty. Or I can just bash things. That works, too. All right, so what's back here? Nada. Ugh. I'm sorry Pixie makes things, but I will not trade you my weather. It's going to be a balmy 80 degrees out here again. Our weather is very weird right now. It's unseasonably warm at the moment. Unseasonably warm. Very port. Um... Okay. So, buttons. What am I supposed to be doing? Give it away. The carpentry, the life size portrait. Eh, column A, column B. Column A, column B. There's the Maneki Nako. Um, see the snow 80s again. Yeah, it is here too, Kagan. It is here too. Hold on. I can examine this. Now that's one brig brazier. Brazier. Not brazier, brazier. They must use it to light up the road at night. But it's completely out now. Yeah, I get the hint, but there's no fire to put into it. I would happily light the fire, but there isn't anything to light it with currently. And I'm concerned that there's a clip now. What dumb thing did I say? Ah, eh, bum might do it. It's worth a shot. It's definitely, we already talked to you. It is definitely worth a shot. 22C, oof. I missed. Can I get up on top of the brazier? No, it will not let me sit. Oh, nope, 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 we found it. Yeah, I can't put a bomb up here. It will not let me. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I just want to buy something from you, dude. I don't need your life story. All right, we don't have enough for that yet. I struggle to remember the steps. Well, well, we will figure it out. We will definitely figure it out. It just might take a few minutes. 
Because we, we unplugged the water. We unplugged the water. So let's go explore up at the, what is it, the aristocratic district? Oh. Have we been here? Oh, this is the way out. Okay. Okay. No, this is the way out. This is not the rich people area. This is the way out. That is not where we want to go. Let's go back into the city. We'll figure it out. We shall figure it out. And yeah, yeah, that's the open world part. We've talked to you. We talked to you. We're just going to do a circuit of the city and see what we missed. Um, we talked to you? I don't believe it. There's water flowing in the canal again. The boss must have done this. He must have done the work himself. And I didn't manage to help him one little bit. I'm so useless getting stuck here like this. I just don't understand where the pain came from all of a sudden. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to sit there and whine, apparently. All right, so he's not the dude we need to talk to. The snooty space, you're not wrong. Not wrong. So this is probably Mr. Flower in his house. Oh, those cherry blossoms I so lovingly tended to. It breaks my heart to see them wither it all like that. If only this accursed mist would lift, I could perform the Gura Shuffle and bring the blossoms to life. Gura Shuffle? So he's like Mr. Orange. Now, where have I heard that before? I learned it from a certain flower dance master. Wither trees will fully bloom when I dance the Gura Shuffle. Hmm, there really is such a thing as a flower dance master? However, the Gura Shuffle will have no effect while this evil mist remains. From Oh, and there's a cursed mist lift. Okay, so we have to lift the mist. We have to lift the mist after I rob you. And yeah, we can lily pad the water. We can lily pad the water. I think we've gone through all of the canal, though, looking for treasure chests. All right, that's the aspiring carpenter. So, should be a way through here. I love that my art is on the walls. That tickles me to no end. We, maybe. No, there's still nobody in here. Bum, 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 bum. We'll figure this out. There's the ladder. All right, that's the weapons guy. That's the item shop. So we want to go this way and see if there's anybody over here. Can't barrel this worry and pain. Oh, when it'll be over. Oh, the doom and gloom in the city in the room of the water dragons. They can't tank anymore. Hold on. Hold on. Because I just realized we haven't gone to the snooty district since we released the water. Maybe that changed something over here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Are you happy now, dude, that I gave you your, your water back? There's most definitely water now. Hello. Why are you angry? Hehehe. <laughs> At last, the time is near. Enki, the fisher monk, shall lay claim to his 1,000th sword. The fisher monk? Wandering warrior monk Benki. I have traveled far and wide challenging master swordsmen, and 999 swords have I claimed by my own hand. But now that I have defeated all who would dare challenge me, that last sword has eluded me. I need but one more to make 1,000. 
and thus aimlessly I have wandered. That is, until a legend drew me to Sion City. It is said that a living sword lies in the depths of Lake Biwa. A living sword? Have you heard the legend of Lake Biwa? Even I could barely believe it when I first heard. But they say a living sword swims freely about in these waters. If true, it would make a fitting addition as my thousandth sword. This bridge is a very special contraption. With one command, I can make it passable and another impassable. As you can see, it makes for a fine place to fish. It grieves me to cut off access to the city, but I'm afraid this bridge shall stay this way while I fish for the living sword. Of course, this may be easier said than done. Can I help you fish? This is no mere fishing trip for me. This is a true battle with the living sword. I must therefore arm myself with the right weapon. A fishing rod over at the tool dealer in town would be perfect. Oh, you should see it. I already bought it. It is the purest of white, like newly fallen snow. I already bought it. There's no chance of victory without that rod. Then take it. Take my rod. Alas, it would appear that I cannot afford it. Oh, what am I to do? Firm. Firm. That's... That's blinding snow. The rod from the tool dealer, I'm aware. With that fine rod, I would at last have a chance against the living sword. Now, be a good doggy and give it here. Give me the money. Offer blinding snow. No way. Mine. Bad doggy. Did you not hear me? I must obtain that thousandth sword. Fine. Desist in your stubborn refusal, you cur. I could catch that elusive living sword with blinding snow. Do you not offer me that fine rod? It is my only hope for obtaining my thousandth sword. Sure. Oh, happy day. I have never fished before. Oh, you're an idiot. But it should not be much different from a good sword fight. Now, to catch that thousandth sword, I shall engage in mortal combat with that elusive living sword. That is a very pale rod he has there. Very pale rod. Can I, can I help you fish? Firm? I've been holding my rod over this water for some time now. However, the living sword has yet to bite. But you know what they say, patience is a virtue. I shall sit here as long as it takes. Ami. Foothead here is never going to let us across at this rate. Not for some of that angling magic of yours. Show them how you do it. Fish that living sword out of the lake. Yay, I get to fish now. Help catch living sword. Yes. Bah. Good head sure is a handful. I wonder if there really is such a thing as a living sword anyway. Yeah, buddy. Sword time. Okay, Ami. You got the basic idea, right? Draw a line from the tip of the pole to the fish. I know exactly what we're fishing for, but don't let it get away. Come on. Oh, I think I hooked something. Go for it, Hoodhead. Pull, pull. Don't let it get away. Now I have to remember how to do this. Uh, draw a line. Once you have hooked a fish, move the left stick in the opposite direction of fish's movement. If you pull too hard, the power gauge will move into the thread area. Life gauge will be. Keep a close eye on the fish. Don't overdo it. When you pull the fish close, a button will appear on the screen. Press the button to yank the fish out of the water. Use the power slash to finish off your catch. Keep fishing. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, fish. Come on. 
Come on, fish. Sorry, right, concentrating. Give me a second. <laughs> Fishing is serious business for Crafty. Come on, fish. Yosh, got him. And a happy early birthday to you, Darius. And thank you for telling us about that, Rill. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully I will see you on Tuesday as well. And also, thank you for that follow, DJ Meowtastic. And welcome to the Musies. Missing game audio. What? OBS, you are on something today. You are on something today, OBS. You just randomly decided to turn my uh, game capture audio off. How to stream without technical difficulties. But yeah, welcome on in. Welcome on in, DJ, DJ Meowtastic. Sorry about the technical difficulties right as you came in, but I think we're good now. Ugh. All right, so we have game audio. We have game and we have hopefully crafty voice. That was random. That was random, but at least we caught a fish. But yeah, that is no sword. That is no sword. So we're gonna have to try again. Don't get away from me. We probably have to do this a couple times. Yeah, it. I I checked. I checked Bunny Fist, and for some reason OVS decided to turn off the thing that I'm using to capture game audio. So yeah, for some reason it decided just we don't need game audio anymore. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, when is OBS ever being nice? It's OBS. <laughs> and and anyone out there who also does the streaming thing will agree with me on this. It, it's not a stream without technical difficulties. You caught a kitty fish. But yeah, it is not a stream without technical difficulties. Also, big fish! That was not a straight line, Crafty. That it. Oh, come on! I can't draw a straight line to save my life. On. There. It's on the fish. It's on the fish. I have. <laughs> there. Do not tell me I didn't hit the fish. <laughs> there we go. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> go for it, Hoodhead. Pull, pull. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh. Actually, we might do a little, a little bit of fishing today because this will get me the money to hopefully buy the, uh, what is it, Brown Rage. Because we need a ludicrous amount of money for that. And I, I must have the Brown Rage to go with my Golden Showers. Come on. Come on. That's a big fish. Obligatory. Yeah, it is. It really is, Bunny Fist. And OBS is the perfect way. And you're right. You're right. It is not a fish. It is an eel. I swear to goodness, if he pulls this eel out of the water and snaps it to make it a sword, I will just stop playing this game. That's a lie. I'm adoring this game.
I wish I had known ahead of time that this was a very long play game, but when I looked up how long it takes to beat this game, it said, oh, it's only 20 hours. Yeah, right. Maybe for a speedrunner, it's only 20 hours. Not for me. I'm a potato. Crafty potato time. Come on. Oh, come on, you can make me do this three times? Rough. Come on. All this fishing is making me want to play Dread. Reg, excuse me. Sheesh! I really have estimated closer to 60. Yeah, not wrong. Not wrong, Argon. Yeah, I think it's 20 hours for just the main game, and then like another 50 for everything else. You caught Cutlass Fish, the living sword. I swear to goodness, if he snaps the fish into a sword. Gods be praised. At last. At last I have fulfilled my dream. I'm gonna make a fish sword. I can see it coming. So, that is the living sword. That is what I have been pursuing all this time. Welcome on in, ZR Wolfie and Raiders. Welcome on in, welcome on in. Let me give you a shout out. Let me give you a shout out the old fashioned way. As my stream deck has decided to be poopy. Like everything today. Yeah, welcome on in, ZR Wolfie and Raiders. Welcome on in, welcome on in. How are we all doing? What were we playing? I will know momentarily what we were playing. There we go. And we were doing... Ooh, Pioneers of Olive Town. Oh man, I haven't played that game in ages. How, how did you enjoy that? How did you enjoy Pioneers of Olive Town? Because I was just getting into automation in that game when I decided I wanted to uh, restart and completely redo my thing. And yes, three is the magic number thing, so Mario. Yeah, thank you for that raid, and also thank you for that follow, Amy Riviera, and welcome to the Musies. You'll surely find that we're a very serious station here. No shenanigans, but lots of cookies. So many cookies. What do you for those coming in on the raid? Hi, I'm Crafty Fox, currently a cat. We do a variety of games here and sometimes some crafting and today we're playing Okami and I just caught a fish. Oh my lord Zara, let me tell you, let me tell you Zara Wolfie, you will rearrange your farm so many times, so many times. I am constantly rearranging my farm as I unlock more areas, constantly. And that's true. Cat's modus operandi is nothing but shenanigans. And also, thank you for the head pats. Thank you for those. Move my animals to the third area, then move them all back to the second area. Yeah, mine are all in the second area currently. And then I've got all of my crops in the third area. But I might be restarting the game, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Much like the problem I have with Stardew is that I've never actually beat those games. I just keep rearranging the farm, deciding I've gone too far, and then restart, and I never actually, actually do anything. Not sure what to do in the third area. Um, There is another mine in the third area, and there's a couple of buildings that you need to restore in this third area. And that's all I will say about the third area, but the, you do have another mine out there. And there's some buildings that you need to restore, and trust me, 
You want to restore the building. You really want to restore the building. I haven't done it yet, but I know what it does, and holy crap, you want it. You want it. <laughs> yeah, I... This is actually my first time playing it, Amy Riviera. I missed it on PlayStation and Wii. Mostly because I wasn't good with the drawing mechanic, but I'm, I'm playing it now. Catching up on the, uh, the old stuff. This is part of our first season of the year, being the retro season. Unfortunately, I think we're only going to have two seasons this year because of the long hiatus I had, but that's okay. We won't play as many games this year as I wanted to, but you know what? That's okay. That is okay. I will make it work like you do. And yeah, that's true. There is no beating a story of seasons or harvest moon game. So true. You just kind of set a, uh, you set a goal and you achieve it and then you're done. Nice, nice. You're further than I am, Zara Wolfie. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad that we're doing better. And I mean, I'm going to be off tomorrow to do the final thing that is the result of the hiatus. But after that, after that, things should hopefully return to normal because there won't be any random phone calls or situations that I have to go out of town suddenly. And that chapter will be closed. Just means we get to start the next one. Ooh, pizza. Look at how big that pizza is compared to my head. Look at this. Oh, I ate it. Well, it was a big slice of pizza. Pizza as big as your head. Thumbs up from Crafty. My crooked thumbs up. <laughs> All right, but let us continue. Because I would like to make progress in this. Yeah, it did. It did, Amy Riera. Yeah, I do too. I do too, ZR Wolfie. But they will. They will. After five? No, three long years, things should start start going back to normal. All right. And <laughs> thank you for that, Chaotic Knight. All right. Well, let's continue the story and do some more fishing because I want money. Aw, don't take it so hard. I mean, that was one big cutlass fish. Cutlass is a kind of sword, isn't it? Plus, what are the odds of catching an ocean fish in a lake? Oh, spare me such solace, but enough about that. A monk never goes back on his word. I shall make this jigsaw bridge passable once more. Thank you. And you do that by thumping your butt. You butt thumped the bridge into existence. Sure. I've come to realize how foolish my obsession with swords is. But fishing, now, that's a most worthy pursuit. Okay, so I'm curious about something. We bought another fishing rod. Marlin rod. Rod specifically augmented for marlin fishing. So where am I going to use that marlin rod, I wonder? Sources, but fishing that's worthy really pursuit. Okay, can I fish with you now? Can I can I fish with you? I will bite you until you let me fish with you, because I want money. Oh goodness. And yes, rich people area, here we come. Heck yeah, once I figure out how to get out of the water. Guessing I have to go this way. Wait, what's that over here? Is that just part of the wall that I'm seeing? Yeah, that is just part of the wall. So how do you get out of the water? <laughs> Like, how do you get out of water here? There should be like a water spout or something around here to get me out. Hmm. Uh, 
Um. That's right, I can't paint in that area. So, oh, all right, well, I guess we'll just hop our way across the water. I guess we're just gonna hop our way across the water, huh, chat? Yeah, because it looks like I can hop out over here. What kind of lily pad was that, Crafty? It was a very, um, demented looking lily pad there. Oh, we're going to get into the rich people area a little bit damp, but that's okay. Nope, not saying that, Brain. All right, well, rich area, here we come. Here we go. Gonna go harass the rich people. Oh. Nope, there's miasma here, too. All right, what do you gotta say, dude? Strange illness in our midst and the water dragon going mad. The times like this that we need Queen Himiko's support. I just don't understand why she won't come out of the palace. I'm sure she must be in there praying for us or something. She's our ruler, so I shouldn't really question what she's doing. Blah. You're boring. I heard rumors before the Queen Himiko's holy power was incredible. Surely this can't be her doing. Did I go the... Father. We went the wrong way. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I've talked to these people before. Did they move? Nope, nope, we just went the wrong way. And yes, wet dog smell for the rich peoples. I think they deserve it. Rich people don't mind wet dog smell. Well, considering the kind of dogs that most rich people own, they probably don't mind rich or uh, wet dog smell. Whoa, stop, Ami. I thought this mist was coming from the lake or mountains. So what's that stuff rising from the Imperial Palace? Uh-oh. Let's keep going, furball. Uh-oh. Miasma Tornado. And here's our jerk face flute guy. Oh, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Jerk. Huh. What took you so long, ma chérie? Ah, not you again. Well, you can't fool us. We're not going to forget what you did to us back in Orochi's cave. And why do you keep popping up wherever we are anyway? What are you up to this time? Hmm? Oh, excuse moi. But I have no time to follow you around. B.S. You see, I am busy looking for something. Bah. Some prophet you are. Don't you already know where to look? Well, maybe look isn't the right word. I already know where it is. It's just... Getting there is proving to be a bit of a problem. Suffice to say, I want it quick and easy. Of course you do. Jerk. Quick and easy. Wait a sec. Don't tell me you're behind this funky mist. Is this part of a plan to conquer the city and take over the world? Probably. You're always up to no good, so I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. The world? Oh, not bad, my little bouncing friend. You're only half wrong. I seek the other world. It is... Oh, I desire a path to the heavens. No. A path to the heavens? Oh, stop being around the bush and let us know what's on your mind. <laughs> this path concerns you too, ma chérie. Huh? I just bite you because you're a jerk face. The city is in quite a bad state, is it not? Especially this ghastly mist that torments its people. You think we're stupid? We see right through you, pretty boy. Ha! We got you all figured out. This funky mist and your so-called path to the heavens. 
You're in cahoots with Queen Himiko. Hmm. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So just take it step by step. You must first deal with this mist. Is it slowly but surely killing the people of the city? Wait too long and it's au revoir. The damage will already be done. Why you? Talking about it like it's someone else's problem. You're behind it all. Admit it already. And yes, I have, Batman. Hmm, even if I was. What good would come out of arguing about it here? Methinks you should be doing something about the mist now. How about a tip this time instead of a prophecy? Go through the hole in the wall, little ones. That's it? Ahem. Let me put it this way. Even the most solid defense has a tiny gap like the eye of a needle. Okay, that actually is more useful. Or something like that. Understand, mon chérie? That actually was helpful. I don't feel like fighting you now. You were somewhat useful. Oh, I see petitioners. I wonder how much longer it'll be before it's my turn. This horrible choking mist is driving me crazy. I'm lucky if I can get any work done at all lately. I have to come and see Rao at least once a day to stay sane. Hmm. Rao has been head of Ankoku Temple for as long as I can remember. She's so lucky, always looking so beautiful and young. If only I could say the same thing about myself. Hmm. Rao is the head of the Ankoku Temple outside the city. But she's come all the way here to help us. She always makes the effort to come when we need her. And she's extraordinarily beautiful too. I feel a thousand times better just looking at her. Of course you do, you perv. I came to listen to Rao's sermon again today. My old back's been terrible since that weird mist came along. But Rao's sermons make me feel better in an instant. I still feel like biting the jerk. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree, Shen. Also, welcome on in. Welcome on in, Shen. It's probably in the UK the head sure if anyone sat in it, they would die so much as wow. That's an epic root or uh, an epic tale there, uh, Batman. I like that. Ah, even dogs are coming to hear Miss Rao speak. Look at the crowd she draws in. They're all waiting to hear her comforting words. Some of them might yeah, might not have pierce of motives, of course. She's incredibly beautiful, so it's to be expected. If only I didn't have to stand guard, I could meet with her too. Wow, everyone's in love with this lady. Helping you enjoy those lurks, chaotic night. Enjoy, enjoy. This is the lecture hall where the regent, Miss Rao, gives her sermons. She bestows guidance on people who have lost their way. Don't worry, Mutt. Miss Rao doesn't discriminate. So get your turn if you go to the end of the line and wait. Well, how about no? How about forced entry time? <laughs> Not that that really is going to change anything. Hmm. Tiniest gap in defenses, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm such a jerk. Or I can just go right into the temple. Okay. I thought you would stop me. Also obtain my alcohol license if I get a working high class restaurant. So that'd be awesome, Chaotic Knight. And you can make a mint. You can make a mint being a bartender. I know Zero Wolf bartended for a while and he liked it. Ooh, a scroll drawn by a wandering artist contains useful information. Um, let's see. So a lot of treasures I haven't found. Um, log book? Yeah, those are my quests at the moment. Fortunes. And yes. Well, you enjoy your lurk. You enjoy their lurk. And you, I agree. You've got this, Chaotic Knight. 
You've got this. Go do the thing. The crafty fox Tato says you can do the thing. Well, that's awesome, Batman. Someday, someday, I will go on a ghost tour. I think it would be fun. Hi. Wow. Well, who would have thought there'd be a wolf in here of all places? The world is in turmoil. Wow, does she have huge tracts of land. Have you come to listen to one of my sermons, Wolf? Then allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rao. I'm the regent of Sion City, appointed by Queen Himiko herself. <laughs> they had to animate that, didn't they? Priestess Rao. Wow. Watch the Laws trailer. I know it's two characters who point towards later rather than before we see grown up side on. Oh! Huh, I didn't catch that, buddy fist. Oh, sorry, getting a quick stretch in. Yeah, I didn't catch that. And yes, I heard the sound effect too. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't catch that. I'll have to watch the trailer again. I mean, even if it is after, I mean, that just means they rebuilt Hyrule Castle. So if I remember correctly from uh, Breath of the Wild, that castle was pretty decrepit. But then again, then again, then again, I say they rebuilt Hyrule Castle, but it could be a flashback. Like, Breath of the Wild, it had flashbacks. So maybe it was just a flashback? That's why I think it's a prequel? I don't know. We'll find out when the game comes out. And then that's when I'm not going to be watching anybody streaming because everyone's going to be playing it. Oh, man. And let me tell you, chat, too, I am not... There, there is one game that I am planning on starting to stream in September that I am both looking forward to and not looking forward to playing. Because it is going to destroy me playing that game, but I think it's going to be time. I think by then it will be time to play that game. But it is going to destroy me. Oh, nice, Batman. I don't know how you get that one. All right, Priestess Riao. Hmm. So what's troubling you then? Holy cow, the sister's stacked. Thanks, Asun. Excuse me? Oh, you've got a cute little fairy with you. The name's Asun, and by the way, it always looks like I'm staring at your melons. Wow, he's right to the point, isn't he? Melons? Oh, never mind. Anyway, so you're running things around here? Wow, there's a funky mist cover in the city. He has boobs. There's talk of a water dragon or something offshore. So, oh, what's up with the queen holding herself up in this place? In her palace, excuse me. Yeah, welcome on in, Azulio. Welcome in, welcome in. We're talking to Priestess Hughes' tracks of land. The people of her city are dropping like flies, you know. How can, be, how can she be so lazy at a time like this? Mm -hmm. So you've sensed the evil forces over at Ryoshima too, then? I heard that dreaded Orochi was resurrected in Shinsu Field. Though so a brave swordsman vanquished him again. The ripples of those waves are chaos. Excuse me. The ripples of those waves of chaos are reaching Ryoshima too. Water dragon terrorizes the sea, and an ill mist covers Sian. And in these last few days, the situation has intensified. I don't know what's happening to our peaceful Nippon. Hmm. Well, I guess people are going to door to door. Oh, lovely, lovely Nordic. Well, they can come to my house and I'll greet them with my, uh... Oh, I don't know. I'll find some offensive t-shirt to wear when I answer the door. It's a shame I don't have, a, like, a Baphomet t-shirt or something. Although that's a lie. I'm usually pretty nice. I just say I'm not interested, and if they press the issue, I shut the door. Like, don't. You said something about waves of chaos growing stronger recently. Hmm. A creepy shadow did scurry off when we defeated Orochi. Hmm. Wonder if whatever it was took root here on Ryushima Coast. What are you muttering about, Isun? 
Well, this will no doubt come as quite a shock, but... Great Slayer of the Dread Orochi is right before your eyes. Behold, the great Amaterasu. What? This wolf? But I heard it was a swordsman called Suzano. Huh? Oh, uh, well, he may have dealt the final blow. But Ami here did most of the work, I tell ya. And if you don't believe me, Ami's gonna show you some divine powers right here, right now. Watch, I'm just gonna curl up on the floor or bark at her. When will I see your friend's divine power then, Isun? You want it? You got it, sister. Come on, Ami. Show her one of your celestial brush techniques. Can I just bark? Fine. The Banui or Ifrit. Nice. All right, fine. What? What was that? You like it? That was one of Amaterasu's divine powers. A mere taste of what the Celestial Brush can do. Hmm, Celestial Brush? What a mysterious and fearsome power you wield, Amaterasu. You got that right, sister. There ain't nothing Ami can't do. I can't set things on fire. Maybe this wolf? Maybe this wolf could help me with my quest. Your quest? What more could you want? You're already stacked to the ceiling. Oh, is soon. <sighs> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Now that I've lost my prayer slips, the situation is completely hopeless. Guess I gotta find your prayer slips, huh? Come on, tell us what you want. It doesn't matter. Just forget about it. I have many favors I want to ask now that I've seen your powers. But without my prayer slips, there's nothing anyone can do. So I guess we need to find your prayer slips. Oh. I guess it's appropriate that the wolf is doing fetch quests. I guess that is kind of appropriate that we're doing fetch quests. All right, but it is back to crafty time. Now I'm going to be sideways, and there we go. Yay! There we go. And off we go. Rao is a great character you never get to meet. But we just met Riao. Isn't this Riao? Yeah, no, you get to meet Riao. He's right there. Unless that's not actually Riao, and she's like a demon or something. I'm confuzzled. All right, that is Miasmud. I'm gonna cut down this tree. Ah, okay, so that's a spoiler. Haha, <laughs> great. Yeah, remember this is, I see a shiny. This is my first playthrough, so please no spoilers. I wanna figure out things naturally because it's fun. I obtained a pearl. How did I never notice that before? How did I never notice that Amaterasu has proper anatomy? How did I never notice that before? Why am I noticing it now? Nyonk. Oh, I did? Uh, let me go back, let me go back. Go. Shut. <laughs> that wasn't it, but still good eye. Okay, so there's another one back here somewhere. Wait. 
No, no, I'm on the right area. I'm on the right area. No, and it's, it's fine, Foxy. It's fine. But usually when a streamer uses the tag first playthrough, it is kind of implied that I don't want spoilers. I also believe that I have the no backseating tag on, which also usually means no spoilers. I just ran out of tag space to uh, put exactly the tag that says no spoilers. Saw another one in another alcove. Well, we can go back. Um, all right, let's see. Ah, possible, possible. I mean, we can remedy, rem, rem, that, 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 remedy that problem. Well, apparently, yes, it does only show up at night. That's interesting. Exorcism slip. That's not the one we want, though. All right, we got that one. There's nothing there. Uh, I don't believe there's anything over this wall. Nope, that's just me jumping into the water like a moron. Yeah, don't care. I'll get out of the miasma momentarily. Well, that certainly is telling us where the mist is coming from. Let's finish exploring this area, and then I will head into that miasma-filled nightmare over there. So am I the only person that loves the word miasma? Like, it's a fun word to say. And it's one of those words that, like, sounds like what it actually is. We're a queen, Himiko's bodyguards. She's in her palace at the moment, praying for the city. I'm under orders not to let anyone disturb her, and I take orders seriously, so that means you too, mutt. You can see the curse stone stretching out before you. The whole city is engulfed in a sinister air. We won't lay it, let it lay a finger on Queen Himiko. No, we guards won't let any evil get the better of us. Ah, Himiko's people all sound like a bunch of parrots. But you can't just attack anyone. You're a god, after all. Let's just leave him alone. But, but, bite. But, bite. anything over here. Nope, that's just miasma. I don't think there's anything back there, but we probably can explore it. But she... Bob. Ooh, what's that? Exorcism slipped large. Greatly damages nearby enemies. Well, that's useful. There's that cat statue again. That that has got to be a divine brush power, or something that I unlock later on. It's got to be. We've seen way too many of those cat statues for that not to be a thing. Oh, nice, Azulio, nice. If it continues staying warm like it has been, I might indulge in some ice cream too. Although it is supposed to cool off next week. I think we've explored everything now. Ah, uh, French vanilla is one of the best flavors. Actually... Nothing against, like, really fancy flavors of ice cream, but you know, I just like vanilla. Yeah, welcome on in, Daiji. Welcome in, welcome in. Nyang Koi. Ooh, what is this? Yeah, welcome on in as well, Morender. Welcome in, welcome in. Holy bone. Fight. Fight the tiny child. No. Oh, he's That's adorable! In the ocean swims a mighty beast. 
is he who keeps the sea at peace. Oh, why, what magnificence we behold in this water dragon, oh, so bold. It's a song my grandma taught me. Apparently, the water dragon that's causing havoc in the sea is actually a god from the dragon palace at the bottom of the sea. Did you know that, doggy? So, Celestial Power inbound. For once I remembered you were streaming and joining us, well, thank you for joining, Morander. It's always a pleasure to see you, and hopefully you enjoy your stay as we play a wonderful retro, I guess retro game, Okami. Yeah, that would be really tasty right now, Melina. We actually, I don't know if we have any ice cream in the house. We do have frozen blueberries, though, so I might, uh... <laughs> I might, uh... <laughs> might indulge in those later. So enjoy the tournament as, as I slay the first of the father. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. And yes, actually, Alexander is in Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> Oh boy, is Alexander in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> boy howdy. Boy howdy is Alexander in fourteen, And honestly, some of the best music in Final Fantasy XIV comes from Alexander. They're, those are really good fights. You mean the Bill and Ted reference as well? Brute justice. Now, now you've lost me. Now you've lost me. Now I'm catching up on chat. Hunting Court Palace also haunted. Oh, nice Batman. The love letter to 80s robot theme. I bet. I bet. I should have it done. Yeah, I know the music does rock. It rocks so hard. Also, welcome on in. No, welcome in. Welcome in. How are you doing today? How are you doing? Bigs and Wedge's big adventure. It really is. It really is, Morender. Oh, I didn't realize there were... Oh, that is a Bill and Ted. That is. That is. I never caught that. God, there are so many little subtle references in MM... Uh, yeah, no, I said it right. MMOs. Aristocrat. Oh, well. It's not every day I have a dog visiting my mansion. What is it, little one? Are you hungry? Or have you fled here from the chaos over at Ryushima Coast? I don't have anything for you, but you can stay as long as you'd like. Oh, a dirty dog in my lovely mansion? Get away from me, you flea-bitten hound. This is no place for the likes of you. I am going to repeatedly bite you now. Because you're a jerk. I wonder if you can drag her, like, out the door by biting her. You can get her off her pillow, though. <laughs> Let's see how far I can get her away from her pillow of astuteness. Yeah, I know. I exactly. Exactly, Azulio. Yeah, I saw that picture. I saw that picture, Noah, and that looked delicious. Got that big so much, did I? And they died for a bit in the Power Rangers fight as well. Oh god, I remember the Power Rangers fight. There's the uh, Voltron fight too. I know what was wrong, but hearing from the person. Aw, well, I'm glad to hear that, Bunny Fist. I'm glad to hear that you're feeling better. That's cute that she then just walks back to her pillow. I'll just bark at you. You're nice. I like you. Actually. Just for good measure. Yep. Hold on, I wonder. Yup. Wait, why was that on fire? Oh, you're pulling it from the candles. Okay. I didn't mean to set your tapestries on fire. I'm just trying to steal all your melons. 